Oh, I have no clue what it is. <laughs> it says right on the box. Dad, Ethan, don't look. <gasps> I think I know what it is. I knew it, it's another battery. Blue Eddy is one of our favorite sponsors. Show us. Is it orange? Oh. It's orange. <laughs> <laughs> I just said it's or is it orange That's and it cool. is. I didn't know they had orange. I didn't either. Is that a chart? So, what's the other box then? Other box probably the same thing. Six eighty. Nah. Oh, it's one something. What? Dolls. So it charges the soul of the, um, the blue eddy on top of it? Mm -hmm. Whoa. What I like about this is we got our total input, how much is left on the battery, total output. Here's your DC, your AC. Got waterproof covers on these and dust proof, which is nice. Especially when you're off-roading, it's nice to have all these things, these little rubber fillers, so dust and dirt doesn't get in there. I like that. This is definitely something that's good for off-roading. Um, easy, just little tabs here. But everything's got like a rubber fit to it, which is nice. We've got this, this will connect to here, if I'm not mistaken. Light, which sells a cover on it, bright, brighter, flash. That's nice. And on top, we've got a charging, wireless charging for your phone. Mm -hmm. Oh! Again, I'm not reading instructions. Mm. Nice oh, quick wow. lock, which is nice. I like with these quick locks, it just makes it so much easier. When that thing first started up, that said 100 and what did that say? It said I'm 56. Hmm? It said 56. And what that said 150. Something. For percentage? Yeah. You got your plug for charging. You got your, is that solar input? Yeah, I like how this one's built. This is nice. I like the orange too. That's cool. Thanks, Blue Eddie. <laughs> Obviously, you know colors. Know. I want a Blue Eddie. How do you get the Blue Eddie? You can order it down below. In the link in the comments? Yeah. Pinned on the top? Yep. Yeah. Overall, right now, I've got 99 hours of power. Between the two, there's 47. And the nice thing with this as well, there's no bulky uh, chargers. I love my other Blue Eddy, the EV70. Uh, but the charger on that is big. It takes up more space. This doesn't. Typical, you know, computer cord, all that. Nice and simple. That's what I like. Let's plug this in. So let's see. Input. So it's gonna take 1.3 hours to finish charging everything. I've got 517 watts coming in. The fan is on, so you can tell right there. It's an eco mode. This is your input, your output. Got one battery hooked up, which is this one. So if there was two, there'd be another little battery on this side. And it shows up here on this one, and it's charging as well. So all you need to do is plug into your main. This is your main. This is your backup battery or your auxiliary battery. And through this cord, it will charge. We'll get it out in real life and show you as well. Now there is an app for it too, which I downloaded. My devices. So right now it's showing me it's at 57%, which is great, love it. So it shows my charging right here. Now if I wanna turn things off and on, I can. So I can plug stuff into my direct current um, I can 
I can plug stuff into either or, and I can turn the power on or off. Um, this is the charge for everything, so it shows you right here that I'm plugged into the grid, and that's how much power I'm pulling. So if I'm plugged into solar, it would show here and how much power I'm pulling, which we will do as well. But right now, plugged into the grid. Battery information. So it shows you right here. We're at 60% for that other battery pack. There's no battery pack two. Where is the battery pack two, the other one? I don't know. Or does it just read for both? Maybe this is for the first one and the second one. Pack one. Let me see here. This is the 60. So this is the, whatchamacallit one. Pack two is um, the B80. And the AC60. Okay. So we're pulling 525 roughly from the grid. Um, actually, let's see something here. That's standard charging. Turn it up to turbo. Let's we'll see what happens. So we jumped up to about 600 watts. Wow. So let's change this to silent, which I don't know what that means. Oh, wow. So that slowed it right down. Yeah. That probably turns the fans off and stuff like that. I'm not in there right now, so let's go back to just standard. It's fine with me. Eco, eco, I'm fine with all that. Any upgrades? Version, check for update. It's always good to check for updates on these. It's like your drone and stuff. Upgrade. Device is unavailable during the grade control. Okay. So now that's uploading. This is the light in the back, so I can control light on and off. Interesting. features what's this share your device that's interesting so other people if you're camping with can control the lights on and off too I like all these cool things that Blue Eddy's done here I love this feature for Blue Eddy but when I turned it up to turbo it says this will be charged in less than an hour the one at the top would say that it's 40% it looks like USB A USB-C so I always call this a GoPro one. Um, this is just your normal plug for phones, whatever you want to do to plug them in. Um, and then of course you got your cigarette lighter. It's awesome. Love it. Blue Eddy. I love this by Blue Eddy. This is awesome, a little fridge. But I'm gonna plug it in here. I can see how much power this actually pulls. This is DC, so. has a heating and cooling mode so right now it's in neither in there now it's on there we go that always helps 
foot pulls 42 watts. That's awesome. So we're at 99%. Let's go check. Actually, let's take this with us. And let's go check the unit itself. I see that it's slowing down here. Everything is just coming to a full charge here. Showing 100%. Let's put the system test now. Let's see what we can plug into this thing here. I've got my fan. So let's plug this in. Let's see if we can actually shut this thing down. AC power. AC. Nope. And turn this thing on. That's max right now. Oh, let's turn the power off input. Now we have no input. So I am pulling 97 watts. I got 12 hours. Okay, let's get some more going here. Let's see what else I can add to this. Let's plug the compressor in. I probably plugged so many things in, that's a problem. Overload. Ha! Okay, we're gonna try this again. So I'm just gonna run the compressor and see what that does. That pulls a lot of power. So that's what I was curious on. That's the ultimate test right there. Um, yeah, I figured it was gonna do that anyway, but I wanted to test and find out. I didn't think it could do that anyway, unless I've got maybe a home one. I'm not gonna have this compressor when I'm camping. I have the truck compressor. So I know that it will charge batteries. So my drill, Plug that in. You see, that doesn't pull a lot. How much is it gonna pull? 70 some. Yeah, that compressor was pulling what, 1500 watts or something like that. I plug the fan in. And this. Let's turn this on as well, the little fridge. Now I'm pulling 200 watts. We're down to six hours. What else can I plug in here? I'm trying to pull as much power out of this as I can. Seventy watts through the plug. So my DC current, I'm pulling 42 watts. So it shows you the drain on each. It's interesting. And if I had stuff plugged in, it would show the incoming current as well. 
and I could shut stuff off if I wanted to. So I could shut off the AC. And now it shows it just right there. And I can turn it back on. And everything else goes back on. So if you wanted to have a lights or whatever, you could turn them on and off. I love this. So I'm just doing a firmware upgrade and it shuts down everything, which is fine. It should anyway, because it's probably got to restart the system. You can see it's right here too. It shows you the percentage that it's actually at 87, 80, 92, 94, 98, 100. Successful. Okay. And here it's showing me that I've got stuff plugged in. So let's go in here. And let's turn on the DC. Okay. Turn on the AC. There we go. So you can see here, I'll try to get the little reflections. 